Okay, we got another new video because there's another new build and some goats. So anyways, this is the goat barn. It's definitely getting colder out here, that's for sure. Good Lord. Anyways, this is the potentially mobile goat barn. It, uh, I don't plan on moving it much, but you can move it. I actually built it, I actually built it out of this here pasture. And then pulled it in here later because these things won't leave me alone and they decide to try to eat all my tools. So <laughs> I built it outside and brought it in after the fact. But anyways, this is kind of like a pole barn, but on sleds. So it all starts down here with six by sixes and on both sides. The dimensions of this, I did um, 9 by 16, so I got some 16 foot 6 by 6s. You can see down there, you just give them a little angle cut so they don't catch when you drag it. And then I built it with basically like a pole barn, but I built my own poles. And that is why that little quick shelf I put in here is this high. <laughs> That's the grain bucket. Mm -hmm. And I can tell I can tell what they want. Anyways, I built I built this uh, with my own posts, but I built them out of uh, white two by sixes, which is cheap. I mean that's that's the cheapest way to do it. But this thing is stout. Yeah, you definitely can't reach. You're a little one, aren't you? Oh, what a cute, what a cute little picture. Goats, man, they're nuts. They're nuts. Anyways. Uh, typical pole barn on sleds. I did four posts in the back, which might be a little overkill, but this is, you know, the first time I built this design because it's a new design, and I knew that grabbing those grabbing those sleds on the bottom and yanking this thing all around, potentially, I wanted it to be quite strong. Um, you can see up here, just. Typical, typical rafter system here. Then I put the two by fours over the top of that, and then secured the galvanized sheeting to the two by fours. Obviously, you got your headers over there, which is just two by six by sixteen, both sides. Capped it off. I went with uh, just for. This door here I framed in just with whatever I had laying around. So this is just treated, I think this is two by eight I had to trim a little off of. This is just some old deck board that was ripped in half to fit. And, uh, but it's all, it's all weatherproof here. Then for aesthetic purposes, I decided to go, I decided to go uh, half wood and half steel with a stain on it. And I think it looks pretty good. And then obviously up here, it's pretty important to vent these things. They can stink up pretty quick. These these goats here, these goats here pee quite a bit and poop quite a bit. They eat all that roughage. They need to drink a lot of water, so some good ventilation. I figured it would be I figured it would be a tight enough gap here that even if the weather was pretty bad, there wouldn't be tons pouring in here. And I, I did the overhang here. You can see it overhangs a couple inches. So a couple inches each side with that up high and tight and all that exposed up there. All that exposed up there is treated and stained now. But it's gonna have to be blown pretty hard to get in there. And I thought that that was good enough. But you can see I did horizontal steel on here. And I did that, you could go either or, but I did the horizontal because I wanted a really tight butt joint at the top. It looks a lot cleaner that way. And you know, you don't really have you don't really have to worry about water running off on the sides, so I went with horizontal on the for the side steel. And then just put some of these put some of these corners on to cover these joints inside here. They're tight, but they you know they just don't look that good. But overall, 
basically making this up myself and doing doing uh I just got a message there anyways uh doing doing about 75 percent of this i planned out ahead of time and then you know i just kind of i just kind of get cracking on it after i get antsy so this is a 9 by 16 and currently we have two goats just ramping this thing up figured we'd get the kids we'd get the kids up to age first and get this house done and everything like that start working the property but we started with two we're learning the kids are learning we've got them figured out so next year expand 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 but that should be enough room for plenty of does in there uh, on the back side on the back side though I did just do I did just do solid steel and that's the that's the hoof trim stand I whipped up with some garbage we had laying around well not really garbage but you get what I'm saying leftover oh and it's pretty important to note the, the way this works is on the inside here I got these six by six sleds with these two by six three deep posts here but the little trick is is I put two by eight these pieces here I put a two by eight frame kind of like a picture frame around the outside of these six by sixes and used that polyurethane adhesive which is like really strong stuff and I sunk and I sunk these two by eights into the six by six with uh, those construction screws four or five inch ones that you know the, the big ones the big dog ones and that's really what that's really what tightens this whole thing up that's the, that's the key you don't have to use as much uh, metal and your joint can be fairly simple because once you then put this po put these posts in this little pocket here with glue and you sink in the, the two by eights into the posts you have you have a really solid corner I mean I built this thing I hooked up the tractor to it and you can put that's on the other side on this one but you can put uh, just drill through this bore through this put an eye bolt in hook up some chains drag this thing around but I was picking it up I was pulling it around and it's it it you know it didn't creak it didn't budge so I'm pretty confident that this is a quite quite a solid build here so they've been in here for they've been in here for a couple weeks wow what a pose what a pose <laughs> they've been in here for a couple weeks it took them about a week to get used to uh, to get used to this this new barn for them goats always seem to do that they always take they're they're always wary of a new house or a new structure a new shelter or whatever but anyways I eventually I just put a two by four across here for their feeders and their hay holder here but eventually with this being I mean you know what my hands reaching about that high there's a whole another two foot up there I'm over six feet so I mean there's there's plenty of height in here and these are you know we're doing meat goats so these are boar goats and they don't get very tall they get big but they don't get super tall and there's no way if I were to put a shelf you know even here well yeah put that one over there so they haven't pulled anything off that yet and you can see look at that so they could get up here and sniff oh they could get up there and sniff but they're not gonna be pulling anything off because if they can get if they can reach it they're gonna pull it off I could put a whole shelf across here you know I don't know we're figuring it out right now it works it works for what they need it rained really hard last night and they stayed in here the whole night so anyways that is the new goat barn and I think it turned out pretty nice and they seem to like it too and there's room for plenty more in there thanks for watching